Many of us have to learn how to trust in God other than trying to fix things within our own power. For instance, there are some issues that we may have that we can't fix within our own power. And you all may know what I am speaking about, but what you do or what many people do, they, if they can't do anything about their issues, what they do, they worry and get really anxious or they get to the point where like they worry so much to the point where like it hurts them even more. Like it really gives them worse side effects. Like I said, it is really easy to say that you love God and you trust God when times are easy or easier or when problems are not that harsh on you. But when the heat comes on, many people fold and backtrack. We have to learn that when problems come our way, that is the time to seek God more, to read your Bible more, to pray more, to do things of God more. Some people say that they have faith, but when their faith get tested, where they are placed in an area where there is nothing that they can do, there is nothing that they can say. When they are placed in that way, they just worry like crazy, like, or they may do or say something that hurts them more. We have to learn to be trusting of God always, even when we can do or say something to fix our situation we have to learn how to trust God even then. It is not so much about you doing your own thing or you doing things to help yourself. We should come to God first with our issues. And I believe this is one of many mistakes that many people make. They try to figure things out in their own way or they try to do things in their own way and end up messing up a lot more. I pray that makes sense. So if you are in a situation where you are in some type of trouble, no matter if you caused it or not, and you have tried everything to the point where you have tried to say everything and tried to do everything, what you need to do is sit yourself down, pray, and let God fix it. In some cases, sometimes those bad things are there to elevate us more in God. Sometimes if we don't get out of our routine, <clears throat> we are not going to experience more of God. So what God is doing to you is not so much bad, but it is for you to know him more. Because many people, what they do, they get so far in God, then go back, then get so far in God, and then go back. So God is like, hey, I see this obstacle there that is holding you back. So let me take that, whatever that is from you. Yes, it may hurt you or it may seem like it hurts you or whatever, but let me take whatever that is that is holding you back so you can get closer to me. I pray that makes sense. So what is happening to you per se, is not really bad per se. It may seem bad or whatever else, but God placing you in that situation there or taking something from you 
is really going to get you closer to him. So what I am trying to say, once again, <laughs> you need to sit yourself down, pray about it, and trust in him. Stop trying to go over here and over there, and then you over here telling lies and you trying to backstab people and stuff like that because you have tried to do things in the right way, but now you are going to try to do things in the wrong way by lying and cheating and doing all this stuff here, which is going to make your situation worse because it is God that is allowing those things to happen to you. <laughs> but you don't see that like I said in times of good you know you are say you are saying yes God is good and yes you know I will do his will and everything like that but when bad times come all those words you said about God just go right into the trash can You are going to be tested, man. <laughs> so I pray this makes sense. Stop believing in your own power. In your own ability to do things. Because God is a lot more powerful than you. It does not matter how smart you are. It does not matter how strong you are. If God wants you to learn something or do something to you, no matter what your ability is, you won't overcome it unless God's plan is carried out. My Lord, stop trusting in your own ability. That may be the title of this video. Stop trusting in your own ability. Because you are going to only hurt yourself. If God wants you to be in something, you are going to be in it. But don't make the situation worse by doing sins. By cheating and lying and backstabbing. Thinking that you have to do those bad things to get out of that situation there. When it is God that is placing you there, not your, your husband or your wife or your, your kid or or this person over here and that person over there. Well, if it was not for that person, I would not be in this situation now. It is not them. You are only seeing the earthly side. You are not seeing the spiritual side of things. So you are blaming humans when you should be looking to the other realm. I pray that makes sense. I continue to say this, humans are not our problem. They are not. It is always the supernatural side, not this side. When you are having an issue with a person, it is not the person that you are having an issue with. It is the demons behind that person. So what is the point of fighting that person? What is the point of backstabbing that person when it is not them? Yes, the will of demons is being carried out <clears throat> through that person, yes. But that person is being controlled. So let's say that you kill that person. What can a demon do? Go into another person and do the same things to you. So what are you going to do? Kill every human that does wrong to you? That is foolish. It is not the human. It is the demon. Stop looking at the earthly side and see the spiritual side. What is God allowing in my life? That is the thing that you should always ask yourself. When you are going through an issue, what is God trying to teach me now? Not, oh my life, my life is going all the way down. Let me take a knife and cut myself and do all of these stupid stuff. No, don't cut yourself. Don't get all the way down and all that stuff there. Ask yourself, hey, what is God trying to teach me? 
when you are going through problems, ask yourself, what is God trying to teach me? Other than doing all of these foolish things, like like I said, like cutting yourself and and um, you know being irritated at people when it is not their issue. Like other people are not doing any wrong to you, but since you are so mad about your issue, you are lashing out on everyone that comes your way. That is foolish. You are hurting yourself because you are going to reap what you sow. What God wants to carry out in your life is going to happen whether you want it or not. But when you are lashing out on people or cutting yourself or, you know, uh, being mean to people and crude and rude and stuff like that, that is coming back to you. What you are going through is not the worst that can happen to you. It's not the worst that can happen to you by far man I pray this makes sense when something is happening to you if you forget everything that I have said <laughs> let's say that you know your brain works in some type of way where you can only remember like 10 seconds of what a person says <laughs> remember this when you go through an issue, ask yourself, what is God trying to tell me? What is he trying to teach me? Not let me get revenge, let me cut myself, let me drink until I pass out, let me pop these pills, let me overdose on this and that, and let me just, you know, separate myself from everyone and just sleep all day and and just be like, oh, poor me, why me? You know, having this silly pity party, which I do sometimes myself. <laughs> so bad me, you know. <laughs> what is God trying to teach me? And when you ask those things, I'm telling you, things are going to make more sense then you are not going to do all of those foolish things. I know I continue to say, cut yourself because so many people do that. Like seriously, like, what is this going to do? Like seriously, you, you, you have a knife right here and then you are cutting yourself. Like, what is that gonna do for you? I'm serious. What is, what is that doing for you? I don't get it. It eases out the pain, Kevin. No, it don't. That is a demonic thing. Cutting yourself is demonic. And, you know, I'm not trying to make people mad and, and tease people and stuff like that. No, I am not here for that. If I want to tease people, I would not make videos. <laughs> I would not. But I am trying to help you. This is demonic. Cutting yourself is demonic. That is a demon. That does not ease out pain. That is a demonic trait. So you should never do it. Ask yourself, what is God trying to teach me? What is he trying to tell me? I pray this makes sense. God bless.